Lately, I've just, I've had enough, so I'm going to be putting all of these people through the most grueling thing other than war, which is Drag Race. These are all people that I feel have straight man vibes. Does that mean these men are straight? No. If you're about to comment that you saw Chatter at the Devil's Sacrament, number one, why were you at the Devil's Sacrament? Number two, I don't care. He has straight man vibes, okay? That's why all of these people are here, because their vibes are rancid. This is my own personal vendetta, all right? We do not need to have a conference. We do not need to sit in front of the microphone and say our pieces, okay? This video is heavily inspired by Viz Angry Coconut's straight man drag race video but I wanted to do it Animal Crossing style because I can because nobody's stopping me. So I have these villagers here. I have Hugh, Chatter, Ozzy, Hippo, Boomer, Bud. Bud's drag name would be Mary Jane. Don't even talk to me right now. Wart Jr., Curlos, Sterling, something with diamonds, I feel. I don't know. Buzz, Monty, Eugene, Del, Rex, Mott, and Cody. Can you not tell me that Cody's the most straight man name ever? I have a cousin named Cody and I'm the gay cousin, so you can understand how that shook out. We're ready to go, I think. And if you're wondering, hey Salem, why do you sound sick? Why the fuck do you think I sound sick? That's all. Ooh, choose what is the first episode of the season. Let's do talent show. I don't know. I just want to see it. I just want to see it happen. I have just moved into my new house. So hi, how's it going? And then I fell very ill very instantly. So that was fun. That was really exciting. I fainted the second I got into the new house. It was great. I was hallucinating. I had a really bad fever. I loved moving. It's so fun. In today's mini challenge, the queens will do makeup tutorials with hip pads. Eugene won the mini challenge. Are you telling me Eugene has the BBL here? Like Eugene has that ass? Seriously? Are we sure about that? Like are we genuinely sure? Did anybody ask? Look, I feel like that's not true. I mean, at the same time though, like he's the kind of person who would. I just feel that deep in my throat, deep in my feelings. I understand that Eugene would do that, but I don't want to accept that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like he shouldn't be allowed to have that ass, right? The contestants will prove themselves in a talent show where they bring all they've got. Hugh will do a variety performance. Yeah, he looks like he's got a variety of things going on, I won't lie to you. Chatter will do a fire show performance. This man is becoming fondue. Right in front of me, this man is going to become fondue and go on a little cracker. That's deeply insane. That should be against like some kind of union rule, right? I mean, I'm not going to fight it like in the slightest because I'm not really looking to see Chatter win. Like I would like him to become a puddle of cheese. I will be so honest with you. I would just eat it right there. I would. I would just have a little cracker and some cheese. I don't like dairy, but you know what? For him, I'm going to make an exception and we will get rid of this man once and for all and he will never be in another cheesecake factory cheesecake. It's really very good. It's fucking fantastic. I would really appreciate for this to happen. Ozzy will do a dancing performance. I really shouldn't have added him. Ozzy is the name of my dog and it's making me slightly weird, but you know what? Whatever. It's fine. He's going to do a dancing performance. Ozzy's going to slay. Big fan of him. He looks like taxidermy half of the time. He's only two years old. He's great. Love him. Could put him in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It's insane. Hippo will do a self-care and quarantine performance. And why would he do that? I hate when they mention COVID in TV shows because it's like, no, that didn't happen in your universe. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, get help. You're hallucinating. You're crazy. This man has never once cared for himself. I can fully and utterly confirm that to you just by looking at him. Like, I can see the scent lines coming off of his ass. You know, I've had just about enough of this man. I've had just about enough of seeing Hippo in person, looking at him. I feel like my skin is getting taken over by mold. Boomer will do a jump rope performance. Okay. Yeah, hoorah, I guess. I don't know. Bud will do a gymnastics performance. I can kind of see that. I don't know. I feel like he'd be limber. I just feel like he would have the ability to do gymnastics. Like he would be able to run around on those ribbons and stuff. You know, the ribbons, the things that like hang from the sky with the rings and you do little flips inside of them. I feel like he can do that. I don't know. It's just like a feeling, a prediction. I feel like he'll do good. Wart Jr. will do a runway performance. Okay. Wow. Carlos will do a cheerleading comedy routine performance. That's going to be so misogynistic. I can just feel it. Sterling will do a ballooning performance. Oh, he would. He's like a balloon art guy. And I kind of like balloon art, but not from him. Okay. It's going to be this weird shit. Like, look at me right now. You know, Sterling's going to like pull out some kind of medieval like torture device. And I'm not talking a guillotine because that would be fun, but like something weird, like the pair of anguish or something. Buzz will do a lip syncing dancing performance. Yeah. Okay. I can seem kind of pinup girly. Monty will do a piano performance. That's boring, he would. Eugene will do a lip syncing dancing performance. He thinks he's all that. Del will do a stand up performance. You're a boat, float. Rex will do a comedy skit performance. Ugh. Mott will do a stand up performance. Ugh. Cody will do a spoken word performance. This is terrible. This is awful, I think. 
Rex, Ozzy, Hippo, Del, Monty, Bud, and Buzz slay the challenge. See, I knew what I was talking about here. What are you talking about? Hippo did good. No, he didn't. You guys are lying. You guys are lying for views. It's horrible. Sterling, Mott, Eugene, Boomer, and Wart Jr. had a great performance. Sterling's balloons really came out. I bet he used condoms or something. Something weird like that. Like, he is really sitting there, like, happy with himself. I know it. He thinks he did great. Hugh, Carlos, and Cody had a good performance. Yeah. Yeah. Really excited about your stand-up huh that's gonna be great chatter had a bad performance well bud buzz hugh rex cody Carlos, Dell, and chatter you represent the tops and bottoms of the week let's go let's go look at this this is a really great bottom lineup i won't lie to you that's fantastic monty hippo ozzy war junior mott boomer sterling eugene you're safe Boo. Get Eugene out of here. Get him out. Bud, congratulations. You're the winner of today's challenge. I knew he would be able to do it. Honestly, I could root for Bud. Like, he doesn't have horrible vibes. He doesn't have the worst vibes, you know? I feel like he's pretty chill. Del, Rex, Buzz, good job this week. You're safe. Okay. Don't know why Rex survived. I'm a little concerned about that, but whatever. Hugh, Cody, Chatter, and Curlos, you're the bottoms of the week. Cody, Hugh, you're safe. Curlos and Chatter, I'm sorry, my dears, but you're out for elimination. Let's go. The time has come for you to lip sync for your lives. Good luck and don't fuck it up. The lip sync song is Tara by... I've never heard of this person in my life, but you know, cool. Chatter slayed the lip sync. I just don't know that he did do that. Chatter could maybe sing a bit of jazz, like a little bit of smooth jazz, and that's it. And even then, he's a little rumbly. Like, you know, Carlos, there was just no way. You know, there was nothing. He had nothing under his belt. He has worked in the back of a Cabela's for 20 years, and they only let him out to take the fish out and threaten to kill them and put them back. Chatter, Shantae, you stay. Carlos, sashay away. Okay, that's fine, honestly. That's okay. I feel like Chatter will get his due soon, and I don't like Carlos either chatter he is going to like do something dramatically horrible i don't know i feel it he's such a dramatic man that he has to fail dramatically at the end of the episode the queens go to sit and talk about their feelings ozzy eugene and wart jr are talking a lot and they're bonding a lot eugene and ozzy i think would bond really well you know what i mean because i feel like eugene and ozzy are like two sides of the same coin and ozzy's like the less insufferable side but once they meet up they are unstoppable and that's really scary and i wish i hadn't put them together i feel like they're gonna be like evil bad Batman and Robin. It's awful. I keep having to take breaths to like blot my nose and cough and it's awful. I really shouldn't be filming this right now, but I have to do it. Like I have a journey. I have a journey I have to go through. Rex accuses Buzz of copying her outfit. Girl, what outfit? You know, what is that? These two are having a horrible, horrible mid-off. It's awful. This is just like watching two horribly beat up animals fight. It's like, I don't want anybody to win or lose here. I just want this to stop. You know, I think violence isn't the answer. Del was drinking while watching Cody and Ozzy arguing over a placement they didn't agree with. So Del can get drunk. That's interesting. You know, I guess you put it in the fuel tank. I don't know. Cody and Ozzy is so funny. It's so funny. What are you guys doing? Are you serious? Like, you should go argue about football or something. Are you kidding me? These are like fantasy football league men. Ozzy absolutely plays like pickleball or something. You ever heard of pickleball? That's the worst name for a sport they could have come up with. Like, football sucks. It's a sucky name. But then you have to go in with pickleball. Like, are you kidding me? You can't come back from that. That's just like horrible. Wart Jr. tells all the contestants that they're on this same level except for Del. Del's above sea level. Sorry, the boat jokes are funny. Del does a mean impression of Rex. What is Del doing? Del's gonna blow the whole place up, I swear to you. Okay, I'm kind of shocked. I thought Del would fade into the background, but he is making moves already. Del is saying that they have a better track record than Chatter. Well, I'm not gonna argue with the truth. I don't know. It's just a real fact, and I can't argue with that. Cody is trying to start a physical fight with Hugh. The blue bitches. This is terrible. This is the same man. Copy and paste it, and they're fighting with each other. I always thought that would be the case. Like, everybody says if they have a clone, they want to fuck their clone. That's crazy. Okay. In today's mini challenge, the queens will do a quiz about past drag race contestants. Eugene and Monty won the mini challenge. Ew. 
The queens will improvise a celebrity interview. Oh, oh, they're gonna love this. They're gonna love talking about themselves. Are you kidding me? Straight men love an interview. They do. They love being like, <laughs> well, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Go back to your agent. Go back to your agent and say, stop making me do this because it's embarrassing. Like you ever seen a straight man in an interview? Ooh, they keep letting them do it. They keep letting them happen. And I'm so tired. Cody, Monty, Hugh, Boomer, Matt, and Jell slay the challenge. I knew Cody would. Buzz, Chatter, Ozzy, and Sterling had a great performance. Okay. Hippo, Wirt Jr., Eugene, and Rex had a good performance, but had a bad performance. He is so stoned that he just could not do it. He was scared. I feel bad. I know. He's just so high. <laughs> It's horrible. It's really terrible. The queens will bring it to the runway. Category is denim and diamonds. Cody, Monty, Rex, Eugene, Hippo, and Bud slayed the runway. I know Bud would go crazy for this. Oh my god, the country is chic. That's insane. I feel like this kind of makes sense except for Hippo. What are you doing here, Hippo? He cannot do denim. Buzz had a great runway. Hugh, Dell, Mott, Boomer, Sterling, Chatter, and Wart Jr. had a good runway, and Ozzy had a bad runway. Eugene, Dell, Monty, Cody, Hugh Ward Jr., Bud, and Hippo, you represent the tops and bottoms of the week. This could be okay, except Bud's here. You know, like, I feel like Bud shouldn't be here. Bud just had a bad day, okay? That's all. He's a good guy. I can't believe I said that. Mott, Boomer, Sterling, Buzz, Ozzy, Chatter, and Rex, you're safe. Don't get rid of Bud, okay? He's the only thing we have here. Ladies, I've made some decisions. Cody, congratulations. You're the winner of today's challenge. Are you kidding me? I mean, like, it makes sense that he won, but I hate his ass. I do. I hate Cody. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. He's about to tell you about his favorite book, and it turns out to be, like, some QAnon book or something. Monty, Hugh, Dell, good job this week. You're safe. Hippo, War Jr. Bud and Eugene, you're the bottoms of the week. Get Eugene the fuck out of here and get Hippo out of here. Eugene and Hippo, you're safe. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Babushka by Kate Bush. This makes sense that Bud would do good. Bud had a good lip sync and Wart Jr. doesn't know the words. Oh boo who? You don't know good music? That's so sad. That's really so terrible. Oh my god. Wart Jr. flopped the lip sync. Good. Yeah. Okay, see, Bud knows. Wart Jr. sashay away, Bud, Shantae, you stay. Let's go. Let's go. That was terrifying to me. If we lost Bud this early, oh my god. That's an incredible song. Rex had an argument with Cody and they cried. Good. Finally, feel some emotion. You know, maybe Drag Race is helping them with their emotional issues. I don't know. Chatter questions the point of yelling between the argument of Monty and Bud. Ooh, that's so interesting. I feel like Monty and Bud would have a good argument. Like they would be absolute polar opposites. They could kiss maybe. Monty can't be in the finale without Mott. Why? Why? I hate both of these people. Oh my god, that's just the worst room. Boomer is trying to start a physical fight with Eugene. Oh, I can see that. He's like, yeah, you want to go, tough guy? You want to go? You act all tough. You act all fucking tough, and now you can't even fight. You can't even take your fists out. You can't even take those fucking sunglasses off. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. And Eugene's like, uh, my bodyguard is coming and he's gonna beat your ass. Boomer is in the military, you're gonna die. Sorry, Eugene, not sorry at all. Really happy for you, actually. Chatter and Dell are shading Hippo's makeup skills. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Hippo. I'm sorry, but like his hair looks awful. It just looks terrible. I mean, he spent two minutes on it and it was with like car grease and he thinks it looks great. That's crazy. We've had like two eliminations already. In today's mini challenge, the queens will do a quiz about past drag race contestants. Whenever this one comes up, I just can't say it. I don't know why. It's just a tongue twister for me. It's impossible to say. Bud won the mini challenge and they will get a small advantage for the next challenge. Okay, good. Good. I know he spent a couple hours with the blunt like studying drag race the night before. Team one. Bud chose Eugene, Del, Mott, and Hippo. Ooh. I mean, they've been doing kind of good, which like I guess, but like, why'd you have to do that, bud? Why? You deserve a lot better. You're gonna have to be in a room with that stench, bud. And I know you can only smell weed right now, but like, please think of the children. Buzz, Rex, Chatter, and Cody, your team two. Sterling, Boomer, Monty, Ozzy, and Hugh, your team three. Sterling, Boomer, Monty, Ozzy, Hugh, your team three. That's just mediocre. That's so mediocre. Okay. Chatter and Eugene slay the challenge. Hugh, Monty, Cody, Hippo, Dell, and Boomer had a great performance. Mott, 
Ozzy and Bud had a good performance. Yeah, we're getting down to the bottom here again. That's not good. Like, I want this to happen. I want good things to come here, which is insane, but I do. Like, it's the truth. Why can't we have some variety here? We need it because I don't want whatever's been happening to happen again, okay? We've had some close calls here. Chatter, Cody, Monty, Hippo, Hugh, and Mott slayed the runway. Why is Bud so low? I need, like, a second person to root for here, if not Bud, but, like, I don't have anybody. Like, maybe at the very least Boomer, which is insane, but, like, I don't like that either that much, but at least he fought Eugene, like that's good. Eugene, Boomer, Rex, Dell, and Buzz had a great runway. Bud and Sterling had a good runway. Ozzy had a bad runway, oh. Sterling, Hugh, Buzz, Rex, Ozzy, Cody, and Chatter, you represent the tops and bottoms of the week, ugh. At least Bud isn't here, at the very least, you know? This is just a terrible, terrible thing going on here. I love that it's uneven right now, you know? All of you suck. I just don't get it. I just don't understand. I mean, he looks like a rat that you pulled out of like one of those humane traps. Chatter, congratulations, you're the winner of today's challenge. Okay, great. Why is he coming back? I was really hoping he would have a grand failure, but I'm just not seeing it yet, and I don't like that. Hugh, Ozzy, and Sterling, you're the tops and bottoms of the week. Hugh, you're safe. Ozzy and Sterling, ooh. The lip sync song is Dancing Queen by ABBA. How could you mess this one up? That is one of the easiest songs you could possibly do. I mean, I could just death drop to that. That's insane. I am so upset at Sterling right now, just like on a fundamental human level. Like that's not okay. That is not even like slightly cool, okay? ABBA is a national treasure. And like, I know they're from Sweden, but they're a national treasure. Ozzy, Shantae, you stay, Sterling, Sashay, wait, let's go. ABBA, listen, they came back after years and they made a good album. The ABBA album that they just came out with like two years ago, now was so good it was so good at the end of the episode the queens go to sit and talk about their feelings rex slaps bud on my shit list immediately immediately that is awful oh my god what did he ever do to you okay i can assure you he is making the least amount of sting in this entire place and everybody's coming for him and i'm really tired of it i'm really exhausted but i am your biggest supporter okay i will always be get rex the hell out of here somebody needs to put rex in check and like just check him into a hotel for a while leave him there i don't care hugh walks out of untucked after a heated argument with monty Ooh, what the cody hugh feud isn't going on anymore there's no blue feud that's terrible chatter through a glass of water at eugene very rare chatter win honestly very rare but you know what i'm happy to see it boomer can't be in the finale without ozzy yes take him away from eugene take him away get him out of that horrible friendship he's been dealing with okay this is disgusting and i hope that boomer is fixing it let's see what's going on here in today's mini challenge the queens will do wigs with balls Great, fantastic. I'm trying to envision it right now. It's just not working, but whatever. Monty and Boomer won the mini challenge. I'm kind of rooting for Boomer. I feel like Monty and Boomer have like a feud though. Like, how's this gonna go? Today's challenge is the ball and the themes are colors, flavors, and regions. Ooh, none of these people know anything about color. I can assure you that right now. Rex and Chatter slay the challenge. I mean, they are pretty bright. Like I would expect the blue man group over here to like figure that out. You know what I mean? Like, but you know, okay, Chatter and Rex, that's fine. I don't know how I feel about Chatter right now. I honestly don't, but we'll see. Hippo, Cody, Hugh, Del, Eugene, Monty, Buzz, Mott, and Bud had a great performance. Wow. Okay. Boomer and Ozzy flopped. Are you kidding me? Seriously? I guess they're going down together. That's sad though. That's really sad. Boomer, Rex, Hugh, Chatter, and Dell, you represent the tops and bottoms of the week. At least we're just having nothing to do with Bud right now. Like, I would rather that. I would really rather that. But this is kind of insane. Like, Chatter is back down there. I thought that Chatter was gonna, like, be in the finals now because he was just absolutely riding high. But I guess every single bubble has to burst, thankfully. I don't know how I feel about him, though. I'll be so honest with you. I hate that Eugene is doing so well. Oh, Okay. Chatter, congratulations. You're the winner of today's challenge. Okay. Huh? What, what is this? This is so terrible for my mental health. Rex, Hugh, good job this week. You're safe. Who cares? Fuck Rex. Boomer, Ozzy, Dell, you're the bottoms of the week. Oh, that kind of sucks. That's really sad. Oh no, Boomer and Ozzy are going to go together. No, they were like father and son. I don't know. This is a very sad story to me. This is very sad. I'm going to cry. Oh, 
The lip sync song is Body by Megan Thee Stallion. Okay. Ozzy had a good lip sync. Boomer flopped the lip sync. Oh, this is really very sad. Ozzy Shantae stay. Boomer sashay away. Rest in peace, soldier. Military burial. Rex does a mean impression of Bud. What is Rex's problem? Is it the lion thing? Is that it? Like, what's going on here? This is so nasty. Buzz was drinking while watching Dell and Bud arguing over a placement they didn't agree with. Okay. Great, Buzz. Nobody cares. I need you to understand that nobody cares. Nobody gives a shit. Well, I mean, like, yeah, I guess so. But it depends on who was born first. Like, who came out of the womb first? Because that's who copied who. Chatter and Monty are yelling at Ozzy. Are you kidding me? You guys suck. You guys are awful. Cody spits on Monty. What is going on here? What is this? What happened? Eugene accuses Mott of copying your outfit. Nobody cares, you two. Nobody gives a shit. Okay, great. In today's mini challenge, the queens will do a quiz about balls. <laughs> Bud won a mini challenge. Okay, good for him. Queens will participate in a parody trailer about albums. Hippo, Monty, Eugene, Chatter, Mott, and Rex slayed the challenge. Okay. No, they didn't. I just don't think that they did. I think that's a lie. Bud had a great performance. Cody, Ozzy, and Dell had a good performance. Buzz and Hugh flopped the challenge. At least Bud is still doing good. My, my boy. Runway. The category is hometown. Okay. I can kind of see some people like pulling ahead and already they're not pulling ahead like I thought they would. Why are Hippo and Chatter here for hometown. Like, these are not hometown people. No, thank you. Hippo, Mott, Chatter, and Hugh slayed the runway. They didn't. That's a lie. Rex, Eugene, Bud, Cody, and Buzz had a great runway. Monty and Ozzy had a good runway. Dell had a bad runway. Based on tonight's performance, Monty, Hugh, Rex, Hippo, Dell, and Buzz, you represent the tops and bottoms of the week. Mott, Chatter, Eugene, Bud, Ozzy, and Cody, you're safe. I don't want this to happen to me anymore. I just want to go to bed. I want to get in a sleeping bag and go to bed, but I can't. Ladies, I I've made some decisions. Hippo, congratulations, you're the winner of today's challenge. Really? He thinks he can make a great risotto and he just can't. He can't even cook it correctly. It's awful. It tastes like soot. Monty, Rex, good job this week. You're safe. Del, Buzz, Hugh, you're the bottoms of the week. Hugh, you're safe. Del and Buzz, I'm sorry, my dears, but you're up for elimination. Get them out. The lip sync song is Queen of the Night by Whitney Houston. Oh yeah. I can understand Buzz doing better with this. I feel like he would be able to body this a little more than Dell. Dell, I don't think can body anything because he's a boat. Like that's just not a part of his vocabulary. He can't do that. Buzz had a good lip sync. Dell fought the lip sync. Boo hoo. Buzz, Shantae, you stay. Dell, Sashay away. Okay. Okay, I get that. I honestly do. I feel like Dell was bound to leave this whole time. He started shit. He was terrible. He was just never that good either. He was never a winner. Monty was drinking while watching Mott and Buzz arguing over a placement they didn't agree on. Okay, whatever. Whatever. These people are nobodies. They're nothing. Ozzy and Rex are betting on who will eat a dragonfly for $100. Ozzy. Absolutely. I mean, Rex could, but I feel like he's more of a cockroach kind of guy. Ozzy would eat a dragonfly, and I think that's bad. That's awful. I love dragonflies. I would never. Chatter is telling Hugh to go back to Party City where they belong. Okay. Yes, he's correct. He's correct. Hugh is a Party City queen. Cody shared a deep secret to Ozzy. What? What is it? That he spat in Hugh's face? Because like, that's fine. That's not a deep secret. We all know. Bud and Ozzy hooked up prior to the show. Okay. Okay, I, I see it. Honestly, if those were the two to stray from the title that I have given them here, yeah. In today's mini challenge, the queens will do a quiz about noodles. Monty and Hippo won the mini challenge. I don't know why I have so much energy suddenly. I'm just like bouncing around. It's great. No, thank you. These two are awful. Monty needs to just get out. Like Monty has just been causing issue after issue. And I feel like he just doesn't have the chops to be here. That's what I feel. The queens will bring it to the runway. The category is Amazon. Like the store or the rainforest. Like, are we doing Bezos core or like rainforest? I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. We won't. But like in my head, they're all like dressing up as Bezos. Eugene and Rex slay the challenge. Okay. Yeah. If it's Bezos, that would make sense. Eugene wants to kiss his bald head and I know it. Buzz, Hippo, Chatter, and Cody had a great performance. Ozzy, Hugh, Bud, Mott, and Monty had a good performance. Uh, 
okay, whatever. Hugh, Mott, Ozzy, Eugene, Rex, and Hippo, you represent the tops and bottoms of the week. Ozzy's in the top. We're good. Okay, I'm good with any of these people going home, to be quite honest with you. Eugene, ugh. The awful thing is I feel like he would do great at this challenge. Like, this is somebody who would win this game. You know what I mean? Like, Eugene has the chops. I just hate him. Eugene, congratulations. You're the winner of today's challenge. Blah, blah, blah. Rex and Hippo, good job this week. You're safe. Mott, Hugh, and Ozzy are the bottoms of the week. Ugh. Hugh and Ozzy. Why not Mott? Why not Mott? I really liked Hugh's funny little feud with Cody. I like that. I enjoy that. I don't want him to go home, but I really don't want Ozzy to go home. I think I'm getting more attached to Ozzy because of Boomer. Toxic by Britney Spears. Hugh and Ozzy had a good lip sync. Good. Don't disrespect Britney by doing a bad lip sync. I would kill you. Hugh, Shantae, you stay. Ozzy, Sashay away. No, this is terrible. Like, please, you're trying to kill me. I can't do this anymore. This is so sad. Why? At the end of the episode, the queens go blah, blah, blah. We all know what's going on here, okay? You can see it. Eugene thinks that the one who needs to get ready to lip sync is Monty because they did not great at the challenge. I agree with you, okay? This is not good for him. Monty has never had what it takes, and that's the real thing going on here, okay? You look at him, you know. He has no creativity. He has nothing going on for him. Hippo flirts with Monty. Y'all deserve each other. Ew. The TV started playing a video from Mott's family, and Hugh hugged Mott. Okay, what, what, why? Why is Mott's family here? I don't wanna hear about that. I'll be so honest with you, I don't want some cute little moment here, that's gross. Buzz, Hugh, Rex, and Monty are reading each other the filth. Good, you got a lot of material there, you really do. Okay, great. Hugh, Mott, Monty, Bud, Cody, Buzz, Chatter, Hippo, Rex, and Eugene. Still really hoping for Bud. In today's mini challenge, the queens will do makeup tutorials with a celebrity. Bud and Cody won the mini challenge. Oh, Hugh's gonna lose his damn mind. Thank you, Bud, though. I know he would get along great with people. Today's challenge is Snatch Game. The queens will do funny celebrity impersonations. Eugene will do a big Ange impersonation. Ooh. Rex will do an Anna Nicole Smith impersonation. Oh no, that's awful. No, Rex is gonna do something horrible and get it banned from live TV, I know it. Hippo will do a Della Reese impersonation. Chatter will do a Matilda of Belgium impersonation. Buzz will do a Julia Child impersonation. Oh wow. Cody will do a Kim Kardashian impersonation. I can see that, honestly. Bud will do a Drew Barrymore impersonation. We fired all of our writers. And now our TV show is a scab program. Monty will do a Fanny Ardent impersonation. Mott will do a Monique impersonation. Hugh will do a Barry Humphreys impersonation. Great. Rex, Monty, and Mott slay the challenge. Chatter, Eugene, Hippo had a great performance, and Buzz, Hugh, Bud, and Cody had a good performance. Stop doing bad. That's all I ask. Category is gay icon. Monty, Hippo, Buzz, and Bud say the runway. I knew you would, Bud. I knew you had this, buddy. I got you. I love you. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. Monty, get off. Go. Rex, Mott, Chatter, Cody, and Hugh had a great runway. Eugene had a good runway. He threw up on stage, and I know it. He did. He just vomited. He started thinking too hard about it. He vomited, and it was very, very fundamentally healing. Based on tonight's performances, where did the picture go? All right. Who cares? Buzz, Rex, Monty, Bud, Mott, and Hugh, you represent the tops and bottoms of the week. Stop doing this. Eugene, Hippo, Chatter, and Cody are safe. Eugene is safe, and for what? For who? Not for me, certainly. All right, I wanna hear from you. Who should go home tonight and why? Mott said Buzz because of their attitude in the challenge. Buzz took it great, they weren't too mad. Bud said Hugh because he doesn't think they're a star. Ooh. I mean, yeah, I agree. Hugh felt very upset, of course he would. Where's Cody? Where's Cody to dish? Delusion? Bud has been doing great. I mean, he hasn't, but I've been cheering him on, so he's been doing great in my heart. Are you kidding me? Get your head out of your ass, Buzz. Monty said Hugh because of their excuses in the competition. Hugh took it great. They weren't too mad. The, is it the blue? Is the blue an excuse? Rex said Bud because he doesn't think they're a star. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? I feel like Bud's gonna go home now. This is awful. He said Bud because their personality doesn't live up to others. Stop it. Stop being so nasty. You guys suck. Monty, congratulations, you're the winner of today's challenge. Rex and Mott, good job this week, you're safe. What the hell? This is the upside down world. Bud, Hugh, Buzz, you're the bottoms of the week. Buzz, you're safe. Bud and Hugh, I'm sorry, my dears, but you're up for elimination. Please don't send Bud home. He's all I've got at this point. Okay. 
The lip sync song is He's the Greatest Dancer by Sister Sledge. Bud had a good lip sync, Hugh had a bad lip sync. Please, sometimes they switch it up on me. Sometimes they switch it up on me and I really don't want this to happen. Where did all the pictures go? <laughs> what has happened here? I think my Wi-Fi just got unplugged. Okay. Bud, Shantae, you stay. Hugh, sashay away. Why did my Wi-Fi get unplugged? I mean, at least it's still working. But what happened here? I just got Wi-Fi today, by the way. <laughs> the TV started playing a video from Hippo's family and Rex hugged Hippo. Okay, I can see them doing that. I don't know why. Chatter and Hippo right here. Chatter is cheering Hippo up. That I see completely. Like, that's the same man, different fonts. You know what I mean? Like, we don't even have to talk about it here. We do not even have to talk about it. Like, this is just the dream team of awful people. Hippo and Cody drank a few too many cocktails with Bud. Can y'all just be normal? Like I'm begging you. Rex questions Hippo's fashion choice. I mean, the apple doesn't fall far from the other apple. Like he's got bad fashion sense in the sense that it's like Old Navy, but for men, like women's Old Navy can be hot. Men's Old Navy cannot. Bud is not feeling Rex's vibe, okay? Nobody is. I hate to say it. In today's mini challenge, the queens will do a quick makeup look about hip pads. Cody won the mini challenge. Okay, he's got that ass. Again. The remaining queens will record vocals and perform in a girl group number for the original song, You Don't Know Me. Cody, as the winner of today's mini challenge, you get to decide the teams for today. Okay. Cody chooses Bud and Mott, and that makes you team one. That's interesting. That's really very interesting. Why would they put my poor man, Bud, on a team with Monty? That is just a prison sentence. Sentence. That's awful. I feel deeply, deeply bad. Hippo, Rex, and Eugene, you're on team two. Monty, Bud, and Chatter, you're on team three. This is so sick. They're setting him up for failure. They are. They're sabotaging him, and I can't deal with that. Monty, Mott, Hippo, slay the challenge. Rex, Eugene, Cody, and Chatter had a great performance. Oh no, it's happening. They set him up. Buzz had a good performance. Bud had a bad performance. Rigged. The queens bring it to the runway. The category is feathers. Monty, Rex, Chatter, Buzz, and Bud slayed the runway. I mean, I guess it makes sense that Buzz slay because, you know, feathers and he has them. I just feel like Monty shouldn't be here. I feel like Monty's a cheater and he needs to go home. <sighs> Okay. Oh, it's gone again. Okay, great. Based on tonight's performances, Bud, Chatter, Monty, Eugene, Rex, and Hippo, you represent the tops and bottoms of the week. Mott, Cody, Buzz, you're safe. Look at Bud at the top there. Hell yeah, let's go. Okay, well, this is just an emotional roller coaster, to be honest with you. I don't like this. Hippo, congratulations, you're the winner of today's challenge. I hate it here genuinely. Stop this madness. Rex and Eugene, good job this week. You're safe. Chatter, Bud, and Monty, you're the bottoms of the week. Monty, you're safe. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Not once has he ever done something worthy of staying here. You know who has? Both Chatter and Bud, I hate to say it, but both Chatter and Bud have been showing some real promising stuff here. And why are they in the bottom? Oh my god, no. She Wolf by Shakira for the lip sync. Chatter and Bud had a bad lip sync. To Shakira, really? Guys, no. Oh my god. This is the worst. This is literally the worst. Chatter, Shantae, you stay, but sashay away. Why don't I ever get to win? I'm genuinely curious. Like, what, what does this universe have against me? Mott and Eugene share a cocktail. Ew. Chatter, Buzz, Hippo, and Eugene are talking a lot and the others think that they're in this together. Ugh, you all sicken me. Genuinely, you do. Monty and Rex are shading Mott's makeup skills. Well, Mott and Buzz are enemies. Hippo and Chatter are in an alliance. Hippo and Eugene are in an alliance. Oh, double alliance. Hippo would do that. Monty and Chatter are enemies. Monty and Eugene are enemies. See what I mean? Like, Monty just makes enemies. Rex and Buzz are in an alliance. Rex and Cody are enemies. Eugene and Buzz are in an alliance. Eugene and Cody are enemies. See, everybody just keeps causing problems. In today's mini challenge, the queens will do wigs with the pit crew. Eugene won the mini challenge and they'll get an advantage for the maxi challenge. Who am I even rooting for at this point? Maybe Chatter. Maybe Chatter. I won't lie to you. Maybe. But this is awful. Like, I don't want any of these people to win. The queens will do outfits with unconventional materials and party supplies. Chatter, Monty, Hippo, Eugene, and Buzz had a great performance. Cody, Mott, and Rex had a good performance. Chatter, Hippo, Cody, Monty, Rex, and Mott, you represent the tops and bottoms of the week. Eugene and Buzz, you're safe. 
at least we're getting these people down at the bottom here. I hate these people. I hate Hippo, but like Monty is my biggest enemy at this point. I am so anti-Monty. It's not even funny. Monty, congratulations. You're the winner of today's challenge. It's listening to me because it wants me to die. It wants me to suffer. It's not funny at all. Like, I feel like I am just a target of harassment here by Monty. Chatter and Hippo, good job this week. You're safe. Mott, Rex, and Cody, you're the bottoms of the week. What is going on with Monty? Did he like see the producer hit somebody with a car? Rex, you're safe. Mott and Cody, I'm sorry, my dears, but you're up for elimination. Don't do Cody just for the feud vibes. The lip sync song is Nobody Else by M. Behold. I don't think I've ever heard of them before in my life either. Oh no, Cody tripped. Ooh. Mott slayed the lip sync. Cody had a bad lip sync. Okay. Great. I just gotta shut up. Like, I can't keep saying this because it's just gonna keep getting worse. Mott, Shantae, you stay. Cody, sashay away. Oh, I'm sick. Chatter says that Buzz is being favored by the judges. Interesting. I don't know. I just feel like he's doing okay. I don't think he's being favored, but he's doing okay. Eugene and Buzz are talking about who the trade of the season is. Eugene, Monty, and Mott performed a karaoke number of a RuPaul song to pass the time. They would. They seem like karaoke men, and I hate that. Rex's tights rip while backstage. Eugene helps Rex fix their tights. Ew. This is so these people. Chatter and Hippo are talking a lot and the others think they're dating. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. They seem like the dream pair, honestly, and I really hate to say that because I don't want them to be, but I feel like that just works so well. The library is open. In today's mini challenge, the queens will read each other. First up, Monty. To Mott. I see the sanitation men forgot to pick you up for garbage day. Lazy. You know what? I feel like that's just a given. Like, he looks trashy, but that's just a given. Like, you gotta really dig deep there, Monty. Bad. Awful. To Buzz, every Everyone's entitled to act stupid once in a while, but you really abuse the privilege. Again, boring. Next is Hippo. You're so rank, girl, that the plants die when you walk past them. Okay. Yeah, I get that. That's a good one. To Eugene, stupidity isn't a crime, so you're good to go. I like that for Eugene. I do. Next is Chatter. To Monty, rotted. To Eugene, you're like the end pieces of a loaf of bread. Everyone touches you, but no one wants you. He is a fuckboy. That's so good, okay? You know what, Chatter? You did it. You did it. Next is Eugene to Chatter. Everyone thinks you're pretty. I do think you're pretty. I think you have a beautiful face for radio. Monty, honey who canceled and booked you this gig. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I agree. Monty is just a fail. Next is Buzz to Rex. I was gonna give you a nasty look, but I see you already got one. Good. To Mott, I'm looking for a new apartment. How much are you charging for the vacant space between your ears? It's boring. Next is Rex to Chatter. Honey, I'd roast you, but your lace front looks burnt enough. He's already melted. You know, he's not gonna burn. To Eugene, please don't tell me you plan to homeschool your kids. I like it. And last but not least, Mott to Eugene. Do you pick up satellite with those big ones? To Monty, if I threw a stick, would you leave? Buzz won the mini challenge. No, he didn't. The queens will act in a 60s inspired film named Phone Apps. Wonder how that works. Buzz, as the winner of the mini challenge, you get to decide your team for today's challenge. Buzz chose Chatter, Rex, and Eugene, and that makes you team one. Monty and Hippo, your team two. Rex and Chatter slay the challenge. I feel like Rex would do good with 60s. I don't know, I feel like he enjoys the racism. Mott and Hippo had a great performance. Buzz, Eugene, and Monty had a good performance. Can we get Eugene out of here? Or Monty, please, I'm begging. Like, we have a chance here. The queens will bring it to the runway. Category is yellow. Hippo, Monty, and Eugene slay the runway. How did this crew not- okay, whatever. I'm tired. Are you kidding me, guys? Like, can we get our head in the game here? Like, yellow. That's the theme, and we're not doing this? I need you all to go get a Red Bull and, like, come back and let's recalibrate here. Let's do this. Based on tonight's performances, Hippo, Buzz, Rex, Mott, Monty, and Eugene, you represent the tops and bottoms of the week. Chatter, you're safe. Okay. Let's get one of these out of here. This'll be good. This'll be good. Mott, congratulations. You're the winner of today's challenge. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Hippo and Monty, good job this week. You're safe. You Eugene, Rex, and Buzz, you're the bottoms of the week. Rex, you're safe. Eugene and Buzz, I'm sorry, my dears, but you're up for elimination. It better be Eugene. Oh my god. The lip sync song is No More Lies by Michelle. Then stop lying to me about how good these people are doing. Eugene slayed the lip sync. I doubt that. I just really do. Buzz had a bad lip sync. 
rigged. It's so rigged. It's not even funny. And I'm running this right now. Like I didn't rig it, but somebody did. Somebody had to have. Eugene, Shantae, you stay. Buzz, Sashay away. This sucks. Hippo and Mott started to cry after talking about their families and similarities in life. You both stink, that's all. Mott tries on Chatter's wig. That would be an interesting fit, honestly. Monty and Chatter are comparing track records because they want to see who's better. Chatter says that Rex is being favored by the judges. He hasn't done anything remarkable and he's been doing good this whole time, so you know what? Eugene, Hippo, Mott, and Monty are saying who they think should go home tonight. Monty? Are you kidding me? If it's not Monty, I'm gonna scream. In today's mini challenge, the queens will do nails with the pit crew. Hippo won the mini challenge. Oh God. Nails, really? There's gotta be so much shit under them. It's the makeover challenge. The queens will make their family members into their drag sisters. Would hate to do this. Rex, Eugene, and Mott slay the challenge. I wanna see this, like I wanna see this. I wanna see an entire episode of this because I'm really curious what their families are like. I am, I need to know what happened to have this happen. Rex, Eugene, and Mott slay the challenge. Hippo and Chatter had a great performance. Monty had a good performance. Eugene could track it, why? What is this? I guess I'm going back to my former statement, which is like, yeah, he seems like he would be doing good here, but I can't like accept it. Like, I'm not going to take this line down. Monty, Chatter, and Hippo, you're the bottoms of the week, not Chatter. Seriously? And Hippo's safe? The lip sync song is too funky by George Michaels. Oh no, Monty took off their wig. He just took it off. He just like threw it on the ground. What? For the cleaners to get? Monty, you're littering. Monty had a bad lip sync. Chatter flapped the lip sync. Chatter's going home, isn't he? Oh my god. This is so anti-me. It's crazy. This is so anti-me. Like, I gave Chatter a chance after hating him and he's still gone? I don't want any of these people to win. I hate them all. Monty says Rex affected their performance and Eugene defends Rex. What did Rex do here? This is all you, baby. Monty shared a deep secret to Hippo. Hippo hides herself in a fellow port. Hippo hides herself in a pillow fort during Mott and Monty's fight. What? Why you have pillows? The contestants will vote for Miss Congeniality. Wart Jr. voted for Dell. Eugene voted for Wart Jr. He would. I don't know why, but he would. Monty voted for Curlos. Okay. Ozzy voted for Chatter. Rex voted for Curlos. Why are we getting so many Curlos votes here? Boomer voted for Hugh. Sterling voted for Hugh. Buzz voted for Chatter. Chatter voted for Buzz. Okay, so we have a bit of an alliance here. Mott voted for Chatter. We got some good Chatter votes. Hugh voted for Sterling. Why? Carlos voted for Bud. Bud voted for Carlos. Hippo voted for Chatter. Cody voted for Buzz. Del voted for Sterling. Chatter deserved that. He deserved that. I won't lie to you. I agree. He did his best. He did really good. The top five will perform individual show-stopping performances. Rex slayed the final performance. Hippo and Monty had a great final performance. Mott had a good final performance. And Eugene had a bad final performance. Let's go. Oh, the ones moving on to the final lip sync are Rex and Hippo. At least it's not Monty and Eugene. Like that's all I ask. And I really hope it's not Hippo, but I'll take it, I guess. Rex and Hippo will lip sync for the crown. The lip sync song is Prisoner by Miley Cyrus featuring Dua Lipa. Oh no, Hippo doesn't know the words. How terrible, how awful. He's been preparing for this his whole life thinking he could do it and he just can't. Rex had a bad lip sync. Hippo flopped the lip sync. What? What? Well, this was the worst video I've ever made. Uh, thanks for coming. That's it. I cannot believe this, to be quite honest with you. This was just, this was terrible all the way through. Never trust a man. And sorry for the really spotty uploads lately. It's just that I almost died. And also moving has been insane. I will be doing a villager hunt once I get everything figured out. Uh, and I'll be able to talk about it a little more and what's been going on because it's been really bonkers. Thank you guys for sticking with me and thank you to all of my members. Stay safe, stay wonderful, my friends, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.